good everyone i hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from all right so as you can see i uh, want us to go through uh some questions in this mathematics paper 2 for internal candidates okay so i want to take this opportunity also to encourage those who are writing their exams this year both internal and external candidates i want to encourage you that it's not too late you can just keep on um, reading keep on studying and revising okay also subscribe to my channel so that you view more of this content because it will help you in an exam i'm going to find uh, these questions so this is the paper for 2021 okay that was written in um, november so i want us to answer a question that came under sets okay so uh allow me this is uh the question this is the question that i'm talking about you can take a look at it okay you can take a look at it take a look at it so i'll read the the question there so if you knew you can try to copy this question somewhere okay so um the question that you're answering is question 2b this one right here okay this is the question we're answering uh question reads at a secondary school all the learners in grade 12 take at least one of the following optional subjects french home economics and geography 20 learners take french only 25 learners take home economics only and 22 learners take geography only furthermore furthermore nine learners take french and geography 12 learners take french and home economics 15 learners take geography and home economics okay and four learners take all the three subjects okay so here this question was very simple you can see question one uh illustrate this information in a venn diagram scaring two marks question two how many grade 12 learners are at this school b take home economics and geography but not french c take two optional subjects one mark so uh, we are going to see how best we can answer this question remember what i've said try to copy this question somewhere so that as we are answering it together you are able to to compare all right so uh you can see now uh, i want to answer question b okay i want to answer question b now this uh question b the question is illustrate okay illustrate this information in a venn diagram this is our roman numeral one right here all right so how can we answer it so we are going to read through the question okay so the question is saying at a certain college there at a secondary school sorry all the learners in grade 12 take at least one of the following optional subjects so the number of subjects that you have you have three subjects okay you have french home economics and the geography these are the three subjects that we have now when you go down reading this question they have said uh, and four learners take all the three what subject so that gives you an idea that all the sets are going to intersect okay not only that they have given you the information to say some learners take geography and french so all these are examples that the sets are going to do what to intersect so in terms of answering roman numero one um, we draw a venn diagram like this then we indicate the three sets inside like this so we have uh, French, home economics, and the geography. These are letters that they used to present that. Now they said four learners, they take all the subjects. So the four you put it here, meaning that it's part of French, home economics, and the geography. Okay? So apart from that, let's go back to the question. Let's go back to the question. So the question here. The question, I want you to pay attention. 
the question here is saying 20 learners take French only. So if they say French only, this tells you when you come to the set for French, okay? This is the set for French. So if they say only, you are considering this part. So here, you are going to put 20, okay? Mm -hmm. Then, we come back to the question again. 25 learners take home economics only again. So this is the set for home economics. They have set down main learners, 25 only, okay? Then we come to um, information is very important under uh, sets. Okay? If you have not understood the information, you get everything what, uh, wrong. And 22 learners take geography only. So here where you have geography, only 22 learners we are taking it. Okay? But the full set for geography is this. So I do hope that uh, this is uh, clear. Okay, now, let's proceed. Let's proceed. So, in the question, they have gone on to say, they have gone on to say, okay, where are, where are we? Okay. Furthermore, nine learners take French and geography. So, learners who take French and geography, okay? We are saying French and geography. How many? Nine. So when you look at this Venn diagram that I've drawn, French and geography, we are talking about this part here. How many? Nine. So since we have got this number four, for all, four, take all the subjects. So this nine, you subtract four to give you what? Five. So the five, you write it there. So that when you add five plus four, you get nine. Okay? For French and the geography now from there we go back to the information okay we go back to the information make sure you are reading the information there okay 12 learners take french and the home economics so those who take french and home economics french french and Home economics. There are how many? 12. Right? So from here, again, you subtract this 12 minus a 4. This one there, you get what? 8. So the 8, you are going to write it here on the mid. This is the intersection for French and what? Home economics. So when you add 8 plus 4, that's when you get this uh, 12. Right? So we go to the last part there. Okay? Uh, so, nine learners take French and geography, 12 learners, okay, 12 learners take French and home economics, then 15 learners take geography and home economics. So, when it comes to geography, okay, I do hope that you are following me, follow me nicely. When it comes to uh, geography and home economics, they have said the number of learners that take it are 15. So, this 15... Minus a what? A 4. Okay? 15 minus a what? A 4. What are you going to get? Okay? 15 minus a 4. What are you going to get? You're going to get uh, 11. So this 11, we will write it here. Okay? That's the part. So, uh, we have answered our Roman numeral 1. This is how you can eat. Answer it. Okay. You'll be given the two marks from here. So this set was very simple. Okay. Now, uh, let's see how best we can answer the remaining questions. So these remaining questions, you can take a look. All right. So uh, we've come to, let's answer now, uh, Roman numeral 2, question A, B, and C. So you start with question A. So, Roman numeral 2, they are saying, how many grade 12 learners A are at this school? Okay? That is the first question there. How many grade 12 learners are at this school? So, in order for you to find the number of grade 12 uh, learners that are at this school, what you do, that is for, for Roman numeral 2 A. We are just going to add the total number of learners here. Okay? 
we will just say uh, 20 plus 8 plus 25 plus uh, 5 plus 4 plus 11 plus 22. Okay, so uh, make sure that you have your calculator with you because this is part of uh, paper 2. So I'll just add 20 plus 8, okay, plus 25, plus 5, plus 4, plus 11, plus 22. Okay, so uh, it's giving me 95, okay, it has given me 95. So uh, even you, you can try to, to calculate. So for me, it has given me 95 learners. Okay. So meaning, at this school, there are 95 what, learners. So uh, you can go through as well. I might make a mistake as I am punching through. Okay. So just to be sure, repeat 20 plus... Okay, so you can also go through. So it has given me 95. Now we come to B. This was A. Come to B. So what is question B asking us? Okay, question B they are saying, how many grade 12 learners take home economics and geography but not French? They want learners, okay? They want the number of learners who take home economics home economics and geography okay but not what french so meaning this part of french has been excluded okay they just want you to state the number of learners who take home economics and french okay so here the number is what 11 without wasting much of uh, our time then we come to c okay C, the question is right here. How many grade 12 learners take two optional subjects only? So two optional subjects only. You'll be considering this part. This 8 means it, they are taking French and HE, two optional subjects. This 11 uh, right here means they are taking um, economics and geography. Again, this 5 here means they are taking two options. That is French and Geography. Again, this eight have said they were taking French and HE. So we are just going to add eight plus eleven plus five. Okay, and see the answer that you you get. This is paper two, so you can use a calculator as well. All right. So eight plus eleven plus five. Okay, it's giving us a twenty-four. So here we have twenty-four learners okay 24 learners are the ones that you are taking two optional subjects okay we are taking two optional subjects and then here we had 11 learners okay so uh, these are the answers for this question that came in 2021 thank you so much everyone for viewing this content remember what i've said go through as well if at all I've made any mistake, you are you are free to comment. Mind you, there's no one who's got knowledge of these things. Okay, we all uh, learn and teach each other, and uh, we keep on advancing in those areas, just like that. Thank you so much. Don't uh, forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching us on Facebook, don't forget to like our page and invite your friends so that they can join our page. Thank you.